welcome and welcome back to our channel if this is your first time coming to this channel my name Tina, is also known as mommy t so you are very welcome please do well to subscribe like this video comment let's get to know each other okay so guys in today's video i'm sharing with you the authentic seed if you have another zobo recipe just go and dish that one because this one is everything and more this one is the one that you want okay so i'm just um going to show you everything i'm going to try to explain everything in this video but if for any reason i couldn't do well to check the description and join my whatsapp channel because i'm going to like complete it on there okay this video i don't think you can carry all of the details you need because i want to share with you how you start this business each and everything that you to need to start this business your equipment everything see i'm still going to tell you how to market this business those of you asking me how to go into social media marketing don't even play go and join my whatsapp community i actually want to announce it in one of my before videos before i will start posting stuff there so if you haven't joined please go and join the link will be in the description box or i'll pin it in the comment section yes that is that so back to the zobo business okay as you can see i'm trying to pick it out like just um pick out the seeds the dead the leaf that is not um a viscous leaf i'm just trying to do the needful by making it so clean. you want to go through this step so you don't blend rubbish or you don't um boil rubbish with your zobo okay To wash a zobo, I wash mine two times. So guys, this is my pineapple. I have peeled and blended the flesh, okay? I'm just going to sieve to get the juice out. I didn't know we are making zobo today. I'm going to show you this industrial zobo uh commercial zobo recipe okay this zobo recipe is sure okay so it's going to give you a good taste and long lasting because of course we are preserving it okay so um you will check the description box for exact measurements and i'm also going to give you bonanza because i'm going to be adding measurements for 50 kg um 25 kg like if you want to make in bulk if you are in this business you should understand so i'm going to drop that measurement in the description because i am not making 50 kg guys i am making this one for you guys so i am going to drop that in the description do well to check but then don't skip this video let's go ahead with this video so you can know all that we are doing here okay so here i've measured out my ginger I, I needed um 400 gram but we have 380 here that's all i have so i'm just going to use it but you need 400 gram for the zobo you need one derica one derica is equivalent to 285 gram that is what we have i've already like start washing it so here i have my pineapple juice just um i bought one medium pineapple i uh, peeled it of which we'll be using the peel i washed it very well before peeling so here i have the juice i blended with water so here is the juice i'm still going to sieve it to make sure there's no shaft because i'm not cooking this i'm adding this later on okay so here i have all of the shaft and the skin from the pineapple i'll be boiling this so what you need actually is either three um sachets of pineapple flavor viva is the best okay either three sachets of this or you will need one derica of dates okay pitted dates 
you will need one derica which is equivalent to 680 grams of dates that's to tell you how sweet this is if three sachets can equivalent to 680 grams of dates that's to tell you how strong this is i have dates but I, I just want to use this because i'll need my dates for other things so for clove you need one tablespoon see guys this clove that you're seeing is sold for 100 naira each these things are quite expensive pineapple is out of season the medium size pineapple i bought i bought it for 850 naira yeah, i was so pained actually this clove 100 naira each so i bought um more but i will need one tablespoon which is equivalent to this so yes so for the preservative, we are using um, sodium benzonate, okay? So that's what we are using. And then for this one, the Foster Clark pineapple flavor, if you don't have the industrial pineapple flavor, you will need this, okay? If you haven't heard of industrial pineapple flavor, you can ask in your big shop, they have it there. But if you don't have, if you have that one, what you need is just two drops, okay? Because that one is stronger, it's very strong. You will need uh, two drops. But if you don't have it, use one full bottle like this, one full bottle like this of your pineapple uh foster clark pineapple flavor okay so yes this is everything let's just go ahead and get this cooking okay so i'm going to so i've rinsed my zobo okay and now i'm going to add my pineapple I'll have my clothes now. you keep your volume high because i'm going to be making the rest of this video with a voiceover and i'm going to be telling you how to preserve this okay for longer um longer use and how to even package it how to go about it the business as well so don't go anywhere don't go anywhere so i'll also tell you how many liters we aim to achieve from this measurement though i'm not cooking it with all of the water i will need now i'm just cooking it with half water because what i do after boiling for the first time and sieving i go ahead and boil the leaf like the second time so i'm not adding all the water needed now i'm just going to cook this very well and yeah i'll get back to you guys <music> guys at this point i've already like the boiling process is done and the way i sift this for now i just use my colander to sieve i've it. not used my cheese bag because i want to uh, sieve it together with this pineapple juice okay. Okay. so now that it's still like very hot it's still very hot like, like i just finished sieving it now i'm adding my pineapple and i'm going to let this rest i'm going to leave it and allow it to cool you get i'm going to allow it to cool then we'll be back so now that zobo is like very cool i'm going to um sieve it now before i add i add the rest of the uh spices i'm going to uh, sieve it to make sure that this is clean like there's no particles inside so let's see if guys Thank you. 
so guys we have um finished sifting now i'm going to add my flavor but the way i do it i don't just add the flavor direct if you do that you're going to have some particles staring at you and then it starts stirring so what i do i take part of the drink and i add the part uh, the um the flavor in it and then i add it back so the same thing for our um preservative but this preservative is something i want you to pay attention to guys you see this preservative you want to mix it in another bowl not just mixing it in another bowl what you want to do is to add zobo to it until the taste of this preservative one is tasting exactly the same with the other one in the bowl you can see that the the um lit the small plate with the preservative one even the color is different okay so you want to mix until they look alike not only looking alike until they taste exactly the same so you want to keep tasting okay you want to keep tasting you taste the one from the bigger bowl you taste the one from the smaller bowl you want to keep tasting until both of them taste the same if you don't do it like that you are going to end up having a zobo drink that tastes you know the taste of preservative it's going to be tasting preserved you will just know even your client will know that this thing was over preserved so you don't want such awkward taste in your zobo you just want to go through this process so the zobo um the zobo powder i added is one tablespoon but i didn't fool it too much but it's one tablespoon so at this point your zobo is tasting amazing like this zobo is this recipe is the best i have ever tried this recipe is 100 percent the best so at this point i have like gone ahead to check to be sure that i am getting the um measurement that i need for this quantity which is eight to ten um liters okay so you can see i'm already branding my um, containers i'll be using so yeah you want to make sure you have the exact um measurement like i said for me i added more water because i didn't get it to begin with so i i'm sorry the i don't know where that part of the video went maybe i didn't record but i added a little bit of water to get me to the eight eight um 8.5 that I, I have right now but this recipe can do 10 liters this is a 10 liter recipe but i ended at 8.5 because that's why that's the taste i want okay that's the taste i want so you can do 10 liters but nothing more than 10 liters please so you want to add this to your pa packaging containers you can see this one i'm, I'm measuring is uh, someone's order already and it's 2.5 liter and i have 50 liters there i have another one of i think 35 liter um sorry i said 50 liter 50 cl and I, I have another container there that is 35 cl so it all depends on you this um branding i'm using i've done this branding for in fact i can't even remember it's been long i think 2019 or so i always do this brand is a lot like if i want to brand anything i go for 1000 pieces because that way is cheaper and yeah you can use it for long okay but the disadvantage is one of the numbers on my branding is missing like i'm no longer using that line but what the other number there is still reachable so you just want to consider such an a um such an incident when you are making bulk in your branding okay so yeah that is it i'm just trying to get this whole thing in the containers and yeah i think i'll talk to you guys towards the ending again so really um i'm trying to make this video not to be long so there's no way possible that i'm going to put all of this detail if you are someone that's interested in going into this business trust me this recipe is nice it lasts and it doesn't change taste and the old details of how it won't change taste and all that i can't just say it here like the all um it's, it's quite a long process and it's something we need to interact with okay so please just join my channel on whatsapp so that we can continue from there and yeah we i can actually just explain further other than doing it in a hurry over here okay so yeah that another is reason it. why you should join the channel is if you want to get this recipe like a good um 
zobo recipe in 50 liters and 100 liters like you you are in bulk production of it yeah you just need to join so that you can get all of these details and also the fruity ones the one that they put bananas uh, watermelon see guys I, I, those recipes are sure but for me personally this is the height i can go for my zobo pineapple okay i don't do many many fruits inside and inside zobo i don't like my zobo feeling like smoothie okay i just like it like wine like drinkable wine wine that can relax in your tongue so this is the one i like this is the only one i sell but i have the other recipes because i've made them just to see how they taste as in to try them and see how they taste they taste really nice so if you're interested in that i would be very happy to share the recipe with you but i'm not sure i'm going to be making it um uh, for you guys over here so yeah depend on you if you want it just let me know guys okay so about the packaging this particular container is expensive okay that's what i was trying to tell you this container is expensive you might want to consider like the prices of your packaging so that your drink doesn't get too expensive this container will cost like 18 naira per one or that was then i think by now it should be up to 100 naira so and the other one i think 100 pieces is like um is it five thousand or so they are there about so you want to consider these things this one i'm holding is more attractive it's fancy it's more stronger but uh, guys if you put your zobo here and somebody tell you they want to pay 300 it's not possible so you might want to sell 700 even 500 is not possible because the other plastic is what people sell for um 400 500 presently because these things are expensive now okay so you might want to consider your packaging when you are making zobo just so you don't run at loss don't look at it as just water you have to consider you are using gas unlike tiger nut that you just blend and juice it out i would like to share about packaging is if you go to buy your plastic and you know you this is for business you want to look uh, organized try to tell them to give you a specific color of covers okay of leaves this is because they might just mix up leaves for you like uh when i send someone to get for me they missed up green red you understand they missed up so many other colors okay of which i wasn't happy about it i didn't even use it okay so you want the if it's red that you want to go for in your brand just make sure anytime you go to purchase your containers you're always getting red if it's green if it whatever your color stand for if you look at my label very well you can see i represented the zobo color by using the background um us blood uh, color but my logo carries red uh, yellow okay this is my color like um us blood and yellow so it was best i go for yellow instead of red because yellow will bring out the color of this design okay so let me let me cock some of them so that you can see what i'm talking about So now you can understand you can see how pretty it looks like it's attractive okay so you want to consider all these things that might seem like nothing you want to actually consider them early enough so that you can start good you can start with a with a like a um long lasting design okay so yeah you can see how it looks okay this is my choice you can go for any color that your brand represents this is our finished look this is our product prepared yeah what you um hope to get um the preservative how you can navigate preservation see guys i can't put all of them in this video because i'm trying all means possible for this video not to be long so what i need you all to do is to follow my whatsapp channel okay i opened a whatsapp channel recently and i want you all to follow it just in case i make any videos and there's any information i forgot or it slipped my mind to add to it i will put it on my whatsapp um channel okay everybody have whatsapp not everyone is on telegram not everyone can see my community post i don't know why so i think a lot of you can actually communicate more on whatsapp so do well to join the channel 
then i will be anything i see or anything i remember or any new updates on a particular product or a particular video that i make i will always update it there that way we can even communicate like you will get to like get answers from me faster okay so yeah that is it you can see how it looks you can see it's beautiful see it guys so for me i love this packaging like i love this bottle but the price doesn't go well with business so it doesn't go well with zobo business because of course if you are doing juicing you can use it and still profit but zobo business everybody just over like they underrate zobo they underrate it in the sense that they want it to be cheap but all the vitamins is what they are ignoring so let's leave that so this is the bigger one you can do five liters i only did one of these because this one is already ordered for and yeah like two of these as well is already ordered for just put the rest in the fridge and see um like anybody need it but this one yeah you can do five liters you can do 10 liters but you just need to get a new keg okay don't use already used keg use um brown new okay wash it sterilize it and use it okay make sure your covers are well intact make sure everything is cocked no but once it's open just know it's is like it's tampered already so yeah let me know if there's any question let me know if you like it if this recipe is okay see guys i have more recipes this one is the pineapple you can see all through it was pineapple i have mist and uh, fruit zobo i have apple zobo i have watermelon zobo but you know guys apple flavored is the one that actually lasts longer mostly in business no matter the preservative you put in other flavor it's just going to ruin the taste but with pineapple sorry i i was saying apple right with pineapple this one is lasts longer than any other fruits okay if you are doing mixed fruits zobo like the one you add bananas and all just know you are making it for home use because trying to put that in business you are not going to it's not going to last long so yeah that's my own two cents about zobo business let me know what you think and have a blessed day i love you guys bye I no go stop, I no go sweat too. My light is never gonna die. Don't I go fire any devil, devil. My life is forever gonna shine. Before them, no know me from my area. Now I'm here to the guys. Cause I came back from a sunk car.